Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am here on the Sports Labs Jyväskylä and I'm going to do a VO2 max test. I'm here with Roope Koskinen who is a exercise physiologist who will tell you something about the test. Yeah, so um, we will perform the VO2 max test which means that uh, uh, you will cycle with the cycle ergometer and uh, power output will be increased every tr third minute and uh, we will follow the physiological responses to the increased power output which means uh, we, were, we are collecting a um, heart rate, a blood, blood samples with, which uh, we will analyze and we will get the uh, blood lactate accumulation and also we will measure the uh, ventilatory gases and from that data we can get uh, the overall metabolic profile for you which means uh, we can we can get your VO2 max maximal lactate production and uh, maximal power output and also the threshold values which will help you to uh, make a better training program for you. Thank you for the intro. And the testing equipment looks like this. Tämä on tämmöinen, että mä en ole taas ormenia. 
Keskityt muuta puolakin niitä. Tää on herpaan suhteen. Kadenssin osalta nyt. Laittele vaan. Mä näyttää perin. Meillä on vaan taistelua. Hyvä. Tempa, tempa. Meillä on vaan pysy, pysy. Laittele, taistele. Siinä. 24.0. Sitten jos hetken pystyt pitää maski vielä. Kaikki on ko? Joo. I have to say that the end of the test was not very comfortable. My first feeling after the test was disappointment because I couldn't read my maximum heart rate. The heart rate in the test was just 181 and my record on this spring is 195 on the bike. I got the detailed test results on the same evening. My VO2 max value was 51.3 milliliters per kilogram per minute. That's quite good value if we compare it to average population. Uh, in fact, uh, when we look at uh, Schwarz et Treibold uh, fitness classification, it's excellent. But it's good to understand that if we are speaking of endurance athletes, the scale is something different and uh, my value was not so good on that scale. The VO2 max value of endurance athletes could be somewhere between 65 to 80. The other finding were my aerobic and anaerobic thresholds. The aerobic threshold was 137 beats per minute and the VO value were there 29, which is about 55% of VO2 max value. The anaerobic threshold was 153 beats per minute and the VO2 value were there 36 and that's about 72% of VO2 max value. The decent threshold values are 60 to 65 and 80 to 85 percent of VO2 max values. So my thresholds were not so good. I guess that I need to do more training between aerobic and anaerobic thresholds because I have done very much training uh, below aerobic threshold last winter. So now the initial reference test has been done and I know my VO2 max value and my thresholds. This helps me to set my trainings to correct heart rate zones. If I can keep my current motivation until next summer, I guess I'm going to take another test uh, in about 10 months when I'm starting to plan next summer activities. Again, thank you for watching the video and please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And see you on the next video. Bye!